Hey, hey, Chris Shopa here, and I'm gonna give you one of our last walkthrough videos for 2021 on the Ventana series, because this is my very last Ventana. It's the 4037 floor plan, 40 feet, uh, to be exact, it's 40 feet, 10 inches. So this coach, being a 40 footer, is one of a kind, being a tag axle motor home too. Um, let's take a walk around so we can check out the features, kind of go over the features and benefits that I think matter the most probably to you guys and your big RVing adventures in this kind of Waldorf Astoria on wheels, because this coach does speak volumes for the construction that it is. This is a truly uh, residentially built motorhome. The quality is bar none, far uncomparable in the industry. This is a motorhome residentially constructed. You know, 16 inch on center framing all the way through, three inch thick sidewalls. Um, there's no lamination in the sidewalls. This is a true home. Uh, check, out, check out this first cargo bay. This is pretty interesting because if you look inside here, it's built large enough and wide enough and, and tall enough where we could put a slide tray in here as well and put one of those cool little freezer fridges on that slide tray, pull it out, set up a cooktop on top if you want, or just keep all the food and drinks stored away and push it back in. You'll have a 110 volt hookup inside once that fridge is in there. So it gives you a little extra electricity output as well. This floor plan does have a Samsung in-wall TV with the sound bar. So when this is opened up and you have your two large full-size Gerard awnings canoping this whole coach, you could bring like 30, 40 people to this campsite and it pretty much looks like a big party at your zone. You can hold a lot of people under that awning. It's pretty impressive. And then when you have the party and everything going out, you wanna pull out all the chairs and all the fun stuff. This pull-out tray, accessible on both sides, is long enough and large enough and wide enough to stack up everything you need to go hang out and have an absolute blast. Really cool to have too, because you don't want to bonk your head on the bottom of that slide. That does not feel too good. I have done it. You get a half cut tray right behind that full pass through. Very wide. So you have the bigger picnic tables, uh, larger equipment. This is the perfect tray to stack all that stuff inside. That tile there, that's extra tile for the inside of the coach. We'll talk about that later, but that's where it's stored away. Uh, down in this bay, you have a couple electronic hookups as well. 110s, the internal vac system to pull out the bag and turn it on and off control is all down here in this cubby hole. So, all our guys and some girls out there that like to keep some of their items from the garage with them on the road, oil cans, um, bottles of uh, things from the garage that you're gonna need, potentially tools. This is a good little cubby board. You can put plank trays and stack them all on here, have easy accessible equipment right there at your fingertips. So it's like taking your garage on the road. You know, kind of cool. These tires are 305s. That's the tire size across the board from the front to the back. This is a passive steering motorhome. Uh, this is a really, really cool feature, especially at 40 feet. Uh, what that means is even though it's 40 feet, you're driving down the road, the coach already is turning at 55 degrees when you make your left and right turns. Passive steering on the tag axle means when you make your left and right turn, you're getting a 17% extra cut because the wheels are canting with you to give you a tighter squeeze. So, 40 feet is like turning 34 feet in a full circle if you're driving this coach in a parking lot. Really cool. Gets you uh, the ability to turn into really tight parking places and campgrounds. Um, it's pretty amazing to see, actually. This is where your chassis batteries are located. Filter, air dryer, uh, really easy accessible um, points on the coach to get into. This here as well is your 150 uh, amp cutoff switches for your chassis batteries as well. You cut off those, you can keep the coach tucked away, parked away, and knowing that your coach is not gonna be dead the next time you open it up and turn it on. Pan around the backside cap, you can see how cool this coach looks. I mean, it is absolutely phenomenal in the upgrades. This coach is on the Spartan chassis. Spartan is now one of the major options you have versus the Freightliner if you're going to order yourself a Newmar or purchase one of the ones we have on ground. Extra, uh, always good to have cubby space in the back of a coach. You never know. That's a little extra space to have if you need to tuck away just a quick few outside items. Oh, and just in case you see this happen sometimes, 
This door on any of the coach, excuse me, on any part of the coach may open up here or there. That's because the, the seal on these doors, the T66 aluminum that's inside of these doors, sometimes catches and it's such a tight pressure squeeze, you wanna slam Newmar doors from the handle. Get that tight seal. DEF, diesel exhaust fluid. That is the line there to hook that in and, and fill up your def. Very easy and accessible. Panning through, we're gonna squeeze between the Winnebago to our left and check out some of these cubby doors down here. This is your wet bay. The wet bay for the coach has to the bottom right its own hose reel line. It's already on the coach, so you just can plug it at your campsite and then reel it back in. Your amp line, shore power. Shore power, very easy accessible. Once you plug it in and you need to retract it back into the coach, it does have a button to hold on to, so it's electric reel cord. Very easy to use. And the hydronic heating for the coach. The Oasis hydronic heating module. Heats for your coach, for your, uh, for your furnace. So no propane on board. This little bad boy here acts as your furnace. It's electrical driven. It uses droplets of your diesel fuel to power it on and get the igniter going. But you can use this for your heat on board and specifically for your water. Get that water instantaneously hot. Next two bays are the, uh, you have the opposite side of your pass through. And then you have eight house batteries on this coach. You are ready to go wherever you want to boondock. That is a lot of batteries. Let's head on inside. Let's go see what this coach is made of because this is the part that you guys get ready to fall in love with. All right. Welcome to your home away from home. It does get better than this. Newmark construction. Uh, the wood alone, if you take a look around, all the wood is fabricated, cut, um, sanded, painted, all at Newmar. It's real wood. The flooring is porcelain tile, true porcelain tile all the way down the coach. The Ventana series offers carpeting just on the driver's side of the motorhome. Keeps a little bit of that residential quality and also protects all of the furniture, having that stability when you have all this equipment on that slide that has a little bit of carpet. In. And you may be asking yourself, well, what, what are all those weird black things on the ground? Well, this is porcelain tile floor. So these are slide rollers. It's a little uh, gift, you could say, that comes with the, the coach. So slide rollers under the slide here. They come up and they ride along these. They're easy to move, you can pull them right out. But this protects the flooring on this coach. So when this heavy slide rolls in, it doesn't put any damage and dents and things into that tile. It's a lot of work to replace. You notice those tile replacements in the bay downstairs. I am not a huge person that cooks in the kitchen, but my missus is, and she cooks some really good food. And let me tell you, the induction cooked out, this guy right here is super easy to use. Cold to the touch, hot to the touch instantaneously. This bad boy, as you can see, I removed it, can be used outside of the coach. You can plug it into a 110. So if the bacon is going, it's not steaming up the coach and waking everybody up, even though that's sometimes not a bad thing. You don't get up for bacon. But it's very cool, very easy. Plugs right in and then you put it right away. Uh, the coach has three cabinets right under that set up in the kitchen. So you can get a dishwasher option if you would like, but that does take away from your cabinet space. You have the recliners driver's side. They're opposing the 50 inch Samsung TV. Uh, that is really cool because you're front facing your television. Um, if you guys kind of see in the whole space in here, this booth dinette setup with the recliners from where the camera's coming from with those chairs all gives you a circular kind of motion for entertaining. So when everybody's on board and everybody's hanging out, everybody can comfortably kind of sit back and have a conversation as a family in a big circular motion. No one's having to cant their heads in many directions. This makes it really inviting for you to sit back and enjoy the comfortability of this coach. But moving on. So when the guests are over and you got all the space and you want them to have their own arrangements kind of away from you, you have this half bath. This half bath, also called the husband bathroom, is the bathroom space. Keep in mind, I'm 6'1", about 215. Has plenty of room in here. Wash your hands. 
be able to get your towel used without having to hit your arms on everything. The cubby holes have plenty of space in the back and the toilet space down this way is canted in a position where my knees aren't gonna hit. This door is on a, on a uh, full pattern, so it's not gonna get in the way either. King size bed. This here clearly is where you want the residential comfortability to lie. Literally, right? The, the residential bed um, is a radius R5 mattress. You can use your regular king size sheets, king size uh, blankets, everything you need from home. You can transfer right to this bed. A little bit of storage under the bed as well where we tuck away the chairs. These chairs are extra seating for that dinette because there's two leaves tucked away down here that you can put in the dinette and expand the table out. And finally, stepping into the Master King bathroom quarters. Flat facing toilet against the wall to keep the leg space nice and clean and open. This cabinet space is where you could have a, st a, a excuse me, a um, stackable washer and dryer. Not one of those little combo ones where you can fit like a t-shirt and two pairs of pants, but a residential stackable washer and dryer. Get a real load done, so to speak. Into the bathroom space behind me here, you got the standard residential size sink, medicine cabinet, and to the right, the hanging closet over here for extra clothes space does hide an electric uh, safe as well. It's pin coated, it's a fire safe, so you can put your valuables in there if you need to get them hidden away from everything or if you have other items that need to be tucked away from other people to know that you have them. Standing shower is super cool because you got the fold down chair, Fold down here gives you plenty of space to do your shower activities and comfortability. If you're going to sit down and take a shower, you do have the, the hand raised um, faucet. And then the standing faucet as well, which in my height again being around 6'1", still has plenty of space to adjust and be able to get that spigot to come down on me comfortably. I mean, there's quite a bit of uh, space in this bathroom as you can see. Um, as I pan back down here, just to kind of give you guys that final insight, this, this Numar is a, about a $420,000 sticker. Uh, it's a pretty heavy loaded optioned motorhome. This is the right coach for someone who's ready to hit the road and stay on the road for a while or just plug up against for a few months to go visit family. But keeping Highline residential quality your main idea of living in this coach. This is not a laminated motorhome. This is built heavy. You're paying for the construction. It's worth every ounce. Um, I'd love to talk to you guys in further detail. Please let me know. The numbers are at the bottom. My name is Chris Chopa. Take care, guys. Thank you.